Did I actually change it? Yes, I did. Yay. All right. So as I normally do when I finish streaming a game, I try to do a review off the cuff to review the game uh, freshly in my mind that I've just played. Um, so the game that I just finished playing is Ion Fury, which is a game that uh, came out with a bit of controversy, I guess. Um, so the original name of the game was supposed to be Ion Maiden. However, the rock group or heavy metal group, uh, Iron Maiden, uh, Iron Maiden um, didn't like the fact that it was too much like them, and they have the right to their own to that name, I guess. And uh, this big thing, and uh, finally, they decided, well, you know what, it's not worth the hassle. I, I think that's what happened, and they decided to change the name to Ion Fury. Now. Um, this game was built on uh, built on the Build Engine, which is the same engine as Duke Nukem 3D, which came out years ago. Um, and um, this was the first time that a game had, I think it was 20 years, that came out on the Build Engine, and it was that was the hype of everything. Now I know when it came out, not everybody was there was kind of mixed reviews. Some people loved it for the retro feel. Some people found it wasn't as good as Duke Nukem 3D especially those that were really diehard fans of Doom Kingdom 3D. Um, it's a relatively short game. Like, this would be equivalent to, like, one episode, I, I would take it. Um, actually, no, that's not true. There's chapters which would be considered, but it didn't feel as long or it didn't feel as, as drawn out as... There's a few elements that are drawn out, but... In general, it didn't feel that bad. Um, so let's start from the overall. Do I think the game is good? I think it's enjoyable. I don't think it's a great game. I don't think it's a horrible game. I think it's above average. Um, and we'll start with the audio. The audio is actually really, really good. I like the voice acting. Um, it's really good. Um, I love the music. The music is really retro 80s action movie. And it's awesome uh, with the synthesizer music. And it's really, really good. I will have to say, though, the dialogue was lacking, especially from enemies. They always said the same thing, no matter who it was, which was kind of annoying, other than a few growls from, a, you, know, um, um, you know, a zombie or whatever the case may be. Um, but in general, they always said the same thing. We kind of got repetitive. And in general... After the third chapter, even the protagonist starts starts repeating and Haskell's variety of phrases kind of, I don't know, that doesn't make sense. Or it doesn't, not that it doesn't make sense, but it just it, it, eh, it didn't feel that great. So the actual acting itself, the voice acting itself was done really, really well. I just would have liked to have a little bit more variety in the, the, the voice acting. Uh, and the and, and the script, um, but that's not the voice actor's fault. That's just the game. Um, in terms of the graphics, I mean, if you are a fan of Duke Nukem, Duke Nukem 3D, you will feel right at home over here. Very similar. Secrets are the same. Uh, you know, similar. Um, you know, you blow up. Um, you know, you blow up some some crack in the wall to feel to get a, a secret. I did not get a, a lot of the secrets, to be honest. But I wasn't looking for them either. And um, to be quite honest, it was, you know, I found 20% of them without actually looking for them. So, I mean, I'm assuming some are pretty hard to find and there's others that are easier, but it is what it is. I didn't really, I wasn't looking for that. I was just looking for more of the uh, level design. Um, that's why I played it on easy because, you know, I didn't want to get slaughtered and, and so on and so forth. It, it is a pretty easy game at easy. I think normal would have probably been good for difficulty with with um, with enemies. Um, the level design, I didn't, I didn't find... There's a few places where I kind of was like, where do I go from here? Um, but in general, it was... I found it less confusing than some of the other games. There was one part of the game where I found it was a little bit of a shame. And it was the fact that um, I fight this boss 
I finished fighting this boss after a period of time. And then it says, okay. And then you go behind a wall and you hear a door swishing, swishing. So I figured there must be a door around here somewhere. And I didn't realize you had to actually jump off a ledge to go into a broken window. But it's not super clear that you were supposed to do that. So I lost some time, like half an hour on that. <laughs> I know it's stupid, but um but i found all the secrets in the area so that's that's good um so from from that perspective uh it looks great um it plays great it's very responsive um i played it on the xbox 360 with a controller i can see how this could be played better with a mouse and keyboard i'll be honest um but it didn't feel anything different from any other shooter that you play on an Xbox controller. Um, it's always going to be harder to aim. It's always going to be harder, a little bit more difficult to to get headshots and so on, which, uh, to be fair, I, I was able to get a headshot a lot. Uh, because of the way the pistol works, you have the auto-aim and, and you shoot the head. So from that perspective, it's really cool. And that took me a while to figure out what that did because I would see a red a red center and then I'd be like, okay, what does this do? And it never did anything until I realized that it puts a, de a skull on top of the head and you sh it just shoots the, everybody in the head. So uh, it took me about a couple of, it took me about a chapter to get to figure out what that was. Um, so yeah, that's, so the graphics were really good. They're really awesome. The gameplay itself feels very old school. Um, it, there's nothing really much to say. I mean, if you've played Duke Nukem 3D, you're kind of feel at home here. Um, I did appreciate the thing about Duke Nukem. A lot of the levels, at least in the original, they're outside or they're dealing with alien stuff. This one is more like there's, there's outside stuff, but a lot of it is within buildings. It's within, and the way it was designed was really, really awesome. I really enjoyed it. Because uh, Duke Nukem, the only one, the only thing that's really inside, really, and that's not alien, it's like the first level. But this one, the whole game was, so a lot of people complained that, well, a lot, some people complained that it didn't have variety in terms of, you know, the landscape and the levels. I think it was fine. Um, I mean, it, it's, it is what it is. I didn't take it too seriously. I don't think it takes it too seriously, itself too, too seriously. Uh, I really, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, overall, I think it's a good enough package. Anybody that's old school that would like to play an old school game, this would probably be right up your alley. Did I play the way the game the way it was intended? No. You know, you're supposed to play it rapid fire and you keep moving and you, you know, and I wasn't speed running. I was taking my time. So I was playing a game like I play, a, you know, a, an RPG. Um, and somebody did complain on the chat while, you know, while streaming that, uh, you know, it's not the way, well, it's, you didn't say that, but it's kind of like, well, that's why, you know, and I, I got, and I, I knew that were, there was a couple of streaming nights where I knew that it was not fun watching me play just because I was playing really slow and it probably is frustrating to watch somebody play like that. So I was really like, Nr. anyways, so, um, other than having saying that, yeah. You know, you can play this game slow, but you will have... There are points where you're going to have to play a little bit quicker. I found the last level a little bit... Like, the last boss a little bit... Iffy. Because it was just, like, basically horde mode. <laughs> now, I didn't. I played it on easy. I didn't play it on normal or hard. But, I don't know. It just feels like it was a little bit too... Just throwing all the enemies... Types of enemies at you and just go, right? And it fell a little bit off, but managed to do it, I think, in an hour or so. So that's cool. Um, so overall, I think the game is okay. I would, If I had to give it a score, I would probably give it 7.5, 8 on 10. Mostly because of... No, if I take it standalone without the nostalgia feeling, there's other games that are more developed or more refined in this style. Um, like the original 3D, uh, Duke Nukem 3D, or Doom, or, you know, there's other games that are a little bit more refined, but this one was really fun. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I like the close quarters part of it. I like the fact that a lot of it was inside, 
you know, within a house, within a, a, a quarter, within a, a, a base. It was really, really cool. It was fun. I liked the visuals. They were crisp. The, uh, the audio was amazing. The music is fantastic. I would actually buy the, um, buy the soundtrack, to be honest. Um, it's really, really awesome. I really would enjoy it. And uh, I really did enjoy it. Sorry. <laughs> and um, yeah, I would recommend it, honestly, at least to play it once. However, if I had to choose between Xbox and, and um, uh, Xbox and uh, PC, I would probably choose PC, at least for most people. It's not that it's not playable on on console it is but it's more difficult it's a little bit more challenging so i'm assuming that the more advanced levels would be more challenging uh when when you're playing on console a lot more challenging than if it would be on pc uh because of the aim and the mouse and stuff so um yeah i i think that i think that it would be really really uh really good for you know, for anybody that likes old school stuff and enjoys the pixelated goodness of the 1990s and of the build en engine. And uh, yeah, that's it. That is the game Ion Fury. Um, again, if you, you know, I uh, if you guys want to look at my collections, you can, I, you can see my whole playthrough. It's not the most exciting playthrough, I'll be honest, but it's actually really, really fun. So I'm happy that we're able to, I was able to finish it tonight. It took me roughly around, I would have to check. So this took me about an hour tonight. Um, let's see. Duplicates. Video producer. No collections. Yeah, so it took me about 15 hours. It could, somebody that's really good at it can probably do it below 10, maybe 9 eight and a half, nine. Uh, I took my sweet ass time. That's why it took me so long. And there's a couple of points where I got stuck. So it's not, it wasn't as straightforward as I would have thought, but I expected it because I always get caught somewhere in those, these types of games. <laughs> it's not that I don't like them. I'm just not good at them. So it's, it's just, uh, it's one of those things where, um, you know, um, it's, it's, <laughs> I just don't know how to play them very well. But having said that, um, it's very fun. I loved it. Um, does it have replay value? Yes, it does. Probably go back to the, you know, it's one of those games where I can picture going back, but, you know, uh, going back ever so often, like you're not going to play it back to back, you know, try and get everything, but I can feel see that you play this and then in six months to a year, you pull it back out again and you play it again. Um, and then in four or five years, you take it out again. And like, I could see that's where the replay value is. It's, it's going to be like, oh yeah, you know what? This was a fun game. It's not too long. You know, I have time. Um, it's not a hundred hour game. It's a 10 hour game, 10, 15 hour game. Um, I think if some people have finished it, like if you're a completionist, I think it takes about 20 hours, 20, 25 hours. I'm not a completionist <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe one day I will do it, but not, I don't have any interest in that. I just like to play the game and that's it. Um, so yeah, that's it for me. Have a good one, guys. I will see you next time. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel uh, or follow me on Twitch. You can subscribe at aroundtable.ca as well on our YouTube channel and at Corporate Gamer on YouTube as well. Uh, and you can follow us at aroundtable uh, around table on, on uh, Twitter, ARR, two R's. Um, but yeah, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're on, um, Instagram, um, and corporate gamer as well. We're, we're, you know, we, we're a team. Uh, we have both of our YouTube channels. My channel is strictly gaming at all, uh, uh all of it. Whereas a round table is a mix of TV, music, movies, and everything else. So if you guys are interested, follow us there, subscribe there, and, uh, we'll see, I'll see you next time. Have a good one guys. Ciao.